I am back again today with the final level from Challenge World 5. Level 5, 16, double duty. Let's get into it. Hopefully we can finish it off. And then in the next video, I will start with World 6. So, the challenge in this level is we have added a Vespa, which needs to come down the bottom here. So, I'm going to start by doing something similar to what I did in the original version of this level, which was having a bridge that came across here, and a bridge that came across here, having them both disconnect, but having it disconnect at this point here, then having a single hydraulic that was up here somewhere. then attached down to this point so that when it comes in this bridge down here will drop down and up here will pull up so that is the current goal for this level What if I have this part be over, but then that go into an under part here? So something like this. And you then need that over there for structural purposes. But we could then have it connect here, which would hopefully solve our problems. Because it won't get as stressed, but it should avoid the bow. Perfect. Awesome. So then need this to line up nicely, which it does not at the moment. Just have this connected like so. Which hopefully, ah, because we need this stabilizer here as well. So with these two stabilizers, we should then work nicely. But we don't because then that does not uh, just swing freely. And if we do this, it's going to not have quite the same effect. I don't think. Oh no, that did work. It's just that everything snapped then. So maybe that was the right idea? Let's see what actually happens. So this stops it from pulling too far. Which means it then connects. But this bit of road is not quite placed well enough. What if we move it slightly further out again? So I am at the moment is just to get this to lock into place nicely. Perfect! Because then, when we go off, we can have these both work nicely. But then we go down one. But you want it to go down a second. So that it can get down the bottom here. <sighs> but I'm not sure how to do that with this setup. Okay, so my next thought is, is there some way I can actually get this bridge to come even higher up and then have a second level underneath that D can drive on? And I think I can do that 
and dragging this down further. I think the further down it gets, the higher it's going to go. I don't think I need that anymore. I don't think I want that anymore, I should say. And yeah, you can see how that goes so much higher now. So that should allow me to have some point for D to then drive on. We then want to find out where that's going to stop. Um, it should be easy enough, or as easy as copying these three, and then rotating it through until this one is vertical, which is there, and this is the point where this will end up. So we can then copy that and paste that there, and then go across by one, two. So that should end there. This one should end about here. We then want to create some sort of bridge that goes up to that point. actually even need an extra bit because this is going to stop it from over rotating when you drive down it. So I think we should just then need a nicer road here. So I'll make it slightly longer and hopefully give it a nice drive down. So you can see we come up, we stop, and because we've got this rope here, when we push off we can't actually rotate the bridge does not rotate clockwise enough for A to just drop into the water, which is a good thing. Um, if we go back to this one, I think this was able to withstand our taxi hitting it, which is what we're looking for. Yep, so that withstands that, that's perfect. We then want to build a bridge underneath. that gap to be slightly bigger so that we can actually have our guy drive through it. Like so I was gonna say, but that just snaps. Um hmm. make more of that into rope instead, does that help? drive across it nicely and then we come back up and back down and apart from things breaking that should now work hopefully um, so we had a couple of ropes break but hopefully if we can sort that out we should have actually completed the level by the looks of it I don't know why that road of all of them snapped. Like, it doesn't even seem to undergo that much stress. It's a bit odd. But we come across, our motorbike guy goes down nicely, and this then snaps again. And the reason for it snapping is because it goes loose during that phase. So when it comes down, it actually goes loose, and so when it then reattaches, it snaps, which is bad. So now that it doesn't go loose, hopefully it should come up nicely. Yeah, so it goes up nicely now. We have a guy drive down, we come back up and back down, and hopefully nothing breaks. We have one break. Um, but we then get across nicely, we come back up, and we should have them just drive down. So we are slightly over budget um, and we have one break but that should be nice and easy to fix. Um, so we're going to start by 
leading this and then turning it into a rope muscle. Like so. Um, and then we'll look for other places we can save money. Um, and now we are under budget. So hopefully this just works. So this being um, loose at the moment should be fine because it should just snap back into place nicely when that goes, but that does not work. Um, we can try, say, lifting this side up slightly, and that might help. Because it might give it a nicer driving surface, but we'll have to wait and see. So that works nicely. We then come down, and we haven't had anything break yet. Oh, he just barely makes it, but he makes it. We come down. Oh, there's a lot of stress in that top bit because we didn't lock into place. But we made it under budget and unbreaking. We just beat the final level of Challenge World 5. Nice. I'm surprised we didn't get any Steam achievements for it, but that's okay. Um, wow, that did not take nearly as long as I thought it did. Over and done with in about half an hour or so. Um, I'll play it back one more time for you at normal speed with the tension view off. Just to have a look at this beauty. So, it's a fairly, fairly simple bridge, I feel like. There's nothing, nothing super technical or super crazy about it. It's just by allowing our top road on the right here to lift up higher, we allow the Vespa to drive on a se separate road underneath um, and avoid any sort of complications. Um, it can then drive down and get to its checkpoint underneath nice and easily. And apart from that, our solution is essentially the same um, as my regular level solution. Which is honestly fantastic to see work. So, one last time. This is a bit sketchy because it doesn't connect, but this single piece of rope in here that's now a rope muscle really saved me made this level work perfectly because it just catches the bridge whenever it tries to rotate too far and just stops it completely. And without that happening, I would not have been able to beat this level as easily as I did. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video and you feel like helping me out, um, you can do that by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel um, as we get into the infamous World 6 in the next video. See ya!